Hi, my name is Heather, and today I'm going to show you how to turn your children's book into a virtual flipbook for your Wix website. Welcome back to another episode of my Wix artist website series. We've been working on Leanne's artist website, and since she has written and illustrated her own children's book, I thought it would be great to have an actual flipbook version of her children's book that you could flip through and see the pages to get an idea of what's inside and then hopefully purchase it afterwards. I'm going to be using Simple Booklet for this because it just has endless features. It's an amazing platform and I love it for this kind of thing. It is free to use. You can actually have one booklet live at no cost, but I do also have an affiliate link for you in case you want to get one of the paid plants. I'm on Leanne's homepage here on her Wix website, and I'm going to add a new section to put the book in. So I'm just going to mouse over this little separator here and click add section. And I'm just going to pick basic and I'll just drag the basic section over. And now I'm going to go over to add apps and I'm going to click that. And right here, I'm going to search for simple booklet, all one word. And this one right here, the first one that comes up flip books, I'm going to click on that. And here you'll see flip books by simple booklet. So I'm going to click add to site. And I'll do agree and add. And then I'm going to double tap to start. And then right here, you can log in if you already have an account or you can sign up. And once you've done that and you're all logged in, you can go over to upload. And here you'll just upload the PDF of the inside pages. And I'm just going to grab the PDF of the inside pages and I'll click open. Now I'm going to click convert. And we will be able to edit which pages are in the book. I'll be showing you that in just a minute. Now from the library, we can actually click edit. And we can go ahead and edit it in simple booklet. And there are all kinds of tools in here to help you edit your book and make it interactive. First, I'm going to go to pages. And here I'm going to go to delete pages. And I can delete any pages that I don't want in the book. I only want to give like a little sampling of the book, so I don't want all of the pages in the book. Since Leanne's book is actually composed of four different stories, I'll just have one of the stories in here. And I think since the book is really focused more on frogs, I don't want the dog one to be the main focus, so I'm going to delete that one out. And I think I'll keep frog song, so I'll go ahead and select the rest of them and delete those as well. I also want to have the cover of the book be the first page here. I'm going to go to pages again, and I'm going to do add pages, and then I'm going to click on upload. And I'm going to upload a PDF of the cover, but this is just the front cover. It's not the wraparound cover that you would upload to KDP. So I did crop the back out of it. I'm going to click open and convert. So now the first page is the cover. And as we go through the book, you'll see that it displays one at a time. So we can fix that if we go to design, page flip, and we'll do page flip transition. And we want it to do page spread. And we can pick page curl, and that'll make it look like a real book. And then click done. And as you can see, since we put the cover as the first page, that's going to show as the cover. And then as you flip through, all the spreads are side by side. Now I want to add a page at the very end that says that you can see more of the book if you buy it on Amazon. And up here you can see that there are seven pages in the book. And as I flip through, when I'm on the last page, if I just click the right arrow, then that's going to add another page to the book. And you can see it went up to eight. So now it's page eight of eight, and it's a blank page. So now that I have this blank page here, I'm going to click on text. 
and I'm going to add some text. I hope you enjoyed this sample of, and I'm just going to pull this in a bit, and then I'll add another text. little frog tails and if i double click into the text box then i can select it and i can do all kinds of formatting so i'm going to make the font size bigger and then i'll make the text box bigger to accommodate the bigger text and i'll also change the color to match the theme of her book better And I'll add some more text. And now I'm going to add a button. And it's going to be a buy button. And I'm going to find her book on Amazon. And then I'll just go up to the URL here. And I'm going to take off the last slash and everything after it. So I'm going to delete that and press enter. So we do want to check it and make sure that it works and I didn't mess up the URL. And I'm going to click on it and copy. And then I'll go back over to Wix and I'm just going to paste it right here. And I'll do save. So now she has this little link to her book on Amazon. And we can also make it look a little more interesting if we go to the stickers. And there's all kinds of cool stickers here. I'm going to grab the orange circle since Amazon's signature color is like orange or like an orangey yellow. I can put this around the button. This one looks fun. And then in order for the button to work, we will need these extra things to be behind the button because otherwise they're going to cover it up and you won't be able to click on the button. It might look like you can, but you can't. So I'm just going to actually move these over for a second and I'll grab the button and I'm going to do layer up and that's going to bring it all the way to the top. And now I can put these pieces back and they'll actually be underneath it. And of course, always make sure that you check it when you push it live. I also like to have a little arrow pointing down to the button. So let's add that as well. So I'll go to stickers again and we have these arrows and then we also have these cute hand-drawn arrows. I'm gonna try this arrow and I'll click on rotate. That looks good. And then I can resize it. I think I'll just move everything down a little bit because it's kind of up very high. We have a lot of white space down here. Now we can click preview and we can see how it looks. And there's our little purchase button, and it goes right to the book on Amazon. So now I can close this. I'll close this window, and now it's loading up the new design. And another thing that I like to do is just size this so that it's a lot wider. So that way the book isn't going to be super tiny. And I'll make this strip so that it's tall enough but you don't really wanna go outside of these dashed lines because then it'll get cut off on smaller browsers. I also don't really like the navigation menu on the bottom. It's so big and bulky and I don't think it's really necessary. All we really need is for the user to be able to flip through. So I'm gonna to go to settings and I'm gonna to go to nav bars and disable footer navigation. So I can X out of that and then we can go to preview and here's the book and you can see that we can flip through it. And then we have our little purchase button at the end. Now probably the only thing that I would add is we can have a little title up here and also I think I want this strip to be a different color than the strip above it to kind of set it apart from the portfolio up here. So let's go back to editor. I'm going to click on the strip itself and do change background and I'll change the color and let's do add so we can pick a different color. 
maybe I'll do like a really light gray and then I'll go ahead and close that out. And then I'm going to scroll up and add a divider here. So I'm going to go to shape dividers and I'll pick top and I'm going to pick just one of the rough ones. I think those are the ones that look the best with her website. And then I'll come down here and I'll just change this divider because you can see it has that darker gray because it was supposed to match up with the one up here. So I need to change it to be the lighter gray. So I'm going to click on it and click on the divider. I'll do customize design. And for the color, I'm going to pick that lighter gray. And now we can just add a title to this. So let's move this down a little bit so we have room for the title. I'm going to make this strip a little bit bigger. Now I'm going to click the plus sign. I'll go to text and I'm going to add a heading two since the website is heading one and this is nested under the website. So I'm going to drag my heading two over and I'll say available now on Amazon. And you can see this text is getting cut off, so we need to change the line spacing for that. And I'm going to do save to theme because really we need that to be the same throughout the site. And then I'd also like to center this text and I think I'll make it match the cover. So let's click add. And let's try this dark teal. That looks good. Let's go preview it again. And I think that's good. So we can go ahead and click publish. And now if we go to darkedgeart.com, here is her book. I hope this was helpful. If you're working on your own website, join my creativity club on Facebook and you can share your website with us there. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments or as always, you can email me at heather at heathercash.com. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so I know to make more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.